The NIU Huskies are getting ready to take on the Western Michigan Broncos at home. But this is no ordinary home game because after picking up their 7th win of the season against Ohio last week, the Huskies found their way into the top 25 for the first time under Coach Brooks coming in at number 20. Not only that, but they were also projected to pick up the at-large bid in the 2025 college football playoffs and were projected to take on Alabama in the first round. This could be a huge selling point to the visiting recruits this week as they had three-star free safety James Mix visiting, as well as three-star gem quarterback Ben Merrill who we desperately wanted to get. We were on average about five overalls better than Western Michigan in every aspect of the game, so hopefully this should be an easy win for the Huskies at home where we can keep ourselves in the top 25 and get two new recruits to our season two recruiting class. Cameron Peasley had the ball teed up for the Broncos who would be kicking off first Deshaun Gibson, the redshirt freshman set back for NIU who's going to take this off of the goal line and bringing it out as Ethan Hampton and the Husky offense will start things off today starting with the ball at their own 19 yard line coming in ranked number 20 in the nation first time under coach Brooks here in year two ranked in the top 25 their first play of the game is going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe who would pick up the first down now Hampton back to throw first time today connects with Kenji Lewis for a first down the senior receiver just shy of the 50 yard line two plays two first downs to start the game for NIU that play not so much as they would only pick up one yard second and nine now It's gonna be a handoff to the senior Justin Lynch up the middle younger brother of the NIU legend Jordan Lynch only gonna pick up three on that play as Hampton back to throw forced to throw on this He's gonna connect with Keyshawn Pipkin for the first down inside Western Michigan territory to the 34 yard line as they're going back to the ground game Poe shutting one tackle he would pick up eight in total on that carry NIU putting together a very promising looking first drive here against the Broncos defense coming up again with a third down third in inches this time Lynch back in the game he's gonna be just short but the offense is gonna stay out on the field here as they're gonna go double tight end eye formation and Ethan Hampton the Husky senior quarterback picks it up on the quarterback sneak but the offensive line could not pick up that pressure as an incomplete pass would bring up second and ten his first of the day it's gonna be a stretch play right side to Poe not much going there for the Huskies backed up now to a third and long nine yards to go to the first down marker Hampton's pass is completed he would connect with the senior tight end Jake Applegate setting up first and goal to go from the nine it's gonna be a handoff Poe met immediately officials would actually say he lost a yard on that play bringing up second and goal now to the 10 yard line it's gonna be a sweet play to Kyle Thomas not much happening there only picking up three maybe four yards is on third and goal that's gonna be just short of the end zone so the senior kicker Jake Siebert would come out for the Huskies he would get the first points of the day and the Huskies would lead three to nothing time for the Western Michigan offense they are a young squad here led by freshman redshirt JD Davis at quarterback his first year starting for the Broncos as he's going to keep it on the first play slipping one tackle picking up a few five yards for the redshirt freshman quarterback on that read option now calling some audibles at the line here man in motion on second and five in the shotgun it's going to be a handoff to Jamal Haley who has the first down and more he would pick up around seven for the Broncos on that play as they're running no huddle here early on trying to tire out this NIU defense that has been absolutely dominating this season kind of has been the main storyline for this Huskies team as they have been averaging over two takeaways a game multiple defensive touchdowns a game it has just been truly fantastic to watch this Huskies defense the Broncos are doing a good job of chipping away at them though here as this first drive they're going to get around midfield here dinking and dunking the ball on the ground you really only need four yards to carry to pick up first downs and Western Michigan is doing just that as they're gonna pick up another one here with Jamal Haley into NIU territory now going to a quick screen along the right side that's not going for much Jamichael Bankston only picking up one yard on that play as they're gonna go right back to Haley on the halfback draw here Huskies will force a third down can they get a stop here it looks like they will so that'll bring out the senior kicker Palmer Domsky as he's gonna look to try to tie this game up here for the Broncos the kick is up and it is right down the middle Western Michigan ties it up at three apiece both teams taking long first possessions here to start
start the game as this last play will bring us to the end of the first quarter. It's a close one here in DeKalb, tied 3-all between the Huskies and the Broncos. That would bring us to the start of the second quarter. NIU with the ball on their 37-yard line would start off with a handoff to Jalen Poe. That play only going for a pickup of two on the ground as now they're going right back at it. Same play again. Just a little better outcome on that one. Picking up three is now third and manageable for the Huskies. Empty backfield. Hampton back to throw. That's completed to Jake Applegate for a first down. Into Western Michigan territory down to the 45-yard line as a quick pitch. Jalen Poe taking it right side. They're sticking with the ground game. He would pick up six yards on that play and the Huskies going right back to their sophomore halfback. He is getting plenty of work in this first half as that is 11 carries on the day already for him. We're not even at halftime yet. Now going to the play action. Hampton rolling out to his left. Looking. He's going to keep it himself inside the 20 yard line. Little bit of a late shove there from the Western Michigan defense but the refs decide not to throw the flags as they're going to go right back to Jalen Poe again. NIU seems to be doing a really good job of wearing out this Western Michigan defense here is back to throw is Hampton he's going left side to Jake Applegate who finds his way into the end zone untouched Huskies with the first touchdown of the day they take a lead 10 to 3 almost a three minute drive there for the Huskies offense spanning the first quarter and the second quarter as the Broncos taking back over on offense Devon Mortimer picking up the first down for the Broncos on that reception from the 36 it's going to be a play action Davis back to throw he's going to be intercepted by Jake Gassaway the first takeaway way of the day for the Huskies defense and it was only a matter of time before the dogs got their bone that would give great field position to Ethan Hampton in the offense who would come back out starting at the Western Michigan 23 yard line giving it off to Poe he would pick up somewhere between 9 and 10 yards on that carry bringing up a second and inches going right back to him again inside the 10 yard line first and goal to go for the Huskies from the six as it's going to be a sweep to the right side to Kenji Lewis Western Michigan's defense all over that one as it would back them up to the nine yard line back to throw is Hampton scanning it's going to be a dump off here to Kevin Shaughnessy the true freshman tight end would make his way back to the original line of scrimmage third and goal now Hampton in the pocket looking scanning he's going to step up taking himself untouched into the end zone two back to back touchdowns for the Huskies as they extend their lead in what was just once a tied game at the end of the first quarter is now a two position lead for the 20 ranked Huskies here over the Broncos. Second and nine, it's going to be a halfback draw to Jamal Haley who's going nowhere. And I use defensive line all over that one as Davis back to throw. Pressure coming, going right side, tipped in complete. Intended for tight end Brennan Wooden, but Daniel Brown with the third down stop for the Huskies and they'd get the ball back. And are you continuing to stick with the ground game here as this will be the last play before the two minute timeout going right back to Jalen Poe. Redshirt sophomore getting them a fresh set of downs is now Hampton back to throw he has a receiver wide open down the left sideline it's Kyle Thomas for a touchdown beating his man deep in one-on-one -on -one coverage and the Huskies have blown this game wide open here nearing the end of the first half 24 to 3 over Western Michigan the Broncos running no huddle offense trying to get something going here before the end of the first half but ever since that first drive of the game, they just haven't been able to get anything happening as now J.D. Davis back to throw on first and 10. There's something happening for the Broncos inside Husky territory. Jermichael Bankston getting out of bounds as well to stop the clock and save a timeout for Western Michigan. But one yard pickups like that aren't going to do them much help as they have a minute 20 to work with before halftime. Davis back to throw right side. That's going to be completed for a first down and plenty more. Setting up first and goal for from the six yard line. Haley in the backfield with Davis. They're letting this clock run down. Davis back to throw. That's going to be completed for a touchdown. Devon Mortimer getting in the end zone for the Broncos. But they might have left a little too much time on the clock for Ethan Hampton in the Huskies offense as he's going to take a shot deep down the left side. Kyle Thomas pulls it in. A huge pickup of 54 to the sophomore redshirt receiver as Hampton looking like he wants to go deep again. He's going to dump it off left side though. The Huskies with 
with two timeouts remaining. They're deciding to let the clock run, not using one after that play as they're going to set up the halfback screen to Jalen Poe. Saw some trouble in the backfield, but he has a chance, and he's going to find his way into the end zone. Another Huskies touchdown before the first half. What a drive this team just put together. Even more impressive than the drive might be the focus and determination by the sophomore halfback here to get in the end zone, tripping over defenders, finding the end zone for six. And that would leave Western Michigan no choice but to just take a knee and run out the clock here at the end of the first half as the Huskies are going to head into the locker room with a huge lead, 31-10 to 10 over the Western Michigan Broncos. Jalen Poe having a fantastic day on the ground, 16 carries, 87 yards, averaging almost 5.5 yards per carry on the ground for the Huskies. Ethan Hampton looking impressive as well with some great throws there to end the first half, helping put the Huskies up, 31-10. to 10. Welcome to the start of the second half as Western Michigan would get the ball to start things here. J.D. Davis in the offense starts Starting with a handoff to Jamal Haley for two. Bringing up a second and eight here. It's going to be a RPO and a quick screen over to Devon Mortimer. He's only going to pick up four. So Western Michigan already facing their first third down of the second half. Going right side. That's intercepted by Andre Cobb of the Huskies defense. No one in front of him. He's going to trot into the end zone for a 22-yard pick six for the Huskies. And what a way to get this second half started. We were talking earlier about how dominant this NIU defense has been this season and it only took three plays in the second half for NIU's defense to get them on the board as J.D. Davis and the Broncos offense comes back out for another crack at it. That handoff to Jamal Haley is going to pick up nine yards now with a manageable second and one. They're going right back to him on the draw for the first down. Getting a fresh set of downs for Western Michigan more than they had last drive as they're going right back to it on the same play. Again, another nine yard pickup for them out of the backfield, setting up a second and one right back to Haley out of the backfield again. Just barely picking up that first down even though NIU's defensive line was all over him from the snap. J.D. Davis now back to throw right side that's going to be completed to Jamichael Bankston and he's going to take this to the end zone untouched and Western Michigan trying to get some momentum back in this game as they will strike in the third quarter it is still however a 21 point lead for the Huskies as they take over on offense for the first time today in the second half averaging over five yards a carry in the ground game so no surprise that they had opened up with a handoff to Poe to start things off and with that completion to Kyle Thomas Ethan Hampton is going to eclipse the 2,000 yard mark on the season. The senior has been playing extremely well, much improved from last season for the Huskies offense. As they're going to be faced with a third and six here, it's going to be play action. Hampton back to throw. He's going left side. That's completed to Kevin Shaughnessy. And the true freshman tight end picks up the first down and more, bringing it into Western Michigan territory as it's going to be a sweet play to the right now. Kyle Thomas has some room to run inside the 20 down to the 12 yard line where he will be pushed out of bounds by the Western Michigan. Michigan defense. Great field position now for the Huskies as they go to Jalen Poe. Sophomore running back there only picking up two yards as Justin Lynch in the game now for the Huskies. Ethan Hampton across the middle. That's going to be called a touchdown. The senior Kenji Lewis holding on to it in traffic for six. And this Huskies lead continues to grow. It is 45 to 17. Not looking good for Western Michigan as they take back over on offense here. That handoff to Jamal Haley going absolutely nowhere. Second and 10. J.D. Davis back to throw. He's launching one up. Deep left side. That's completed. Zach Chandler, the freshman redshirt receiver, coming down with that one for the Broncos as they move into Husky territory here. That handoff would pick up just over 10 yards, giving them another fresh Fresh set of downs here going right back to Jamal Haley. This time only picking up two on that carry as we are about a minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. Sticking with the ground game, Haley picking up another first down. Despite that turnover to start the second half, Western Michigan having a lot better time moving the ball so far here in the third quarter than they did in the first half is on second and six here. Another handoff. They're loving that right side here with Jamal Haley. He would get their offense down to the five-yard line. First and goal to go for the Broncos. J.D. Davis back to throw. That's going to be completed for a touchdown. Devon Mortimer, we've heard his name quite a bit today. And even though they tack on that touchdown, the Huskies would be making a quarterback change here. As senior quarterback Kenny Luth would be coming in the game for the Huskies. He was redshirted earlier this year. This is his second appearance, so he has two more he can use but this is going to be a handoff to Justin Lynch who is going to take this one all the way to the house 
for a touchdown. An 82-yard touchdown run for the senior halfback. And just like that, NIU gets a touchdown back from the Broncos, and it is 52-24. to Even if the Broncos keep scoring like they have here in the third quarter, NIU is just answering them, and they're not going to be able to close this deficit against the Huskies. Second and eight here for the Broncos. Davis back to throw. He's going left side. That's going to be completed for a first down. And time would run out here in the third quarter. We would head to the fourth. NIU with a massive lead over the Broncos here in DeKalb. Not much the Huskies have to do here other than keep playing the way they have been this entire game against the Broncos. As the defense has a chance to get off the field here with a third in inches facing J.D. Davis and the Broncos offense in the shotgun dropping back to throw across the middle that's going to be completed. Devon Mortimer who we've heard of plenty today picking up that reception and the first down for the Broncos as now it's going to be a quick screen to the right side and it's going to be Jamichael Bankston inside the 10 yard line down to the 5. First and goal to go for the Broncos as J.D. Davis RPO to the right side. That's going to be completed right back to Bankston. Two receptions end up in a touchdown. And now the onside kick unit is out for the Broncos and not the Huskies. I don't know what they're doing and the Broncos are going to recover this. What was Coach Brooks doing not having his team line up an onside kick formation? I don't know, but Western Michigan gets the ball right back and they find Bankston again for a first down and more. And and while I wouldn't say the Huskies are in danger of losing this, they're definitely playing pretty sloppy here. Not a great start to the fourth quarter for the Huskies defense or their coaching staff as now Western Michigan has the ball again and they're driving into Husky territory. First and 10 here now from the 19 of NIU. Davis dropping back to throw, right side, knocked incomplete, but instead it's actually held on. Thought the defender got in there, got a hand on it, but Broncos would go backwards on the very next play anyway as third and 12, Davis is gonna check it down. Down. That's only a pickup of three, so fourth and nine. J.D. Davis, he's going to take a shot to the end zone, knocked incomplete. And the Huskies defense coming away with a big fourth down stop. They're going to prevent another score as they take back over. All Kenny Luth and the offense really has to do here is just pick up a first down or two and run the clock out as they're giving it to Kenji Lewis. He's going to slip one tackle, pick up the first down and more. That play looked like it was going backwards as this would bring us down to the two minute timeout. Second and five. The Huskies don't need too many more first downs here to steal this game as a man in motion. It's going to be a quick pitch to Kenji Lewis again. This time wrapped up in the backfield and he is going to go for a loss of two as they're going to hand it off to Justin Lynch up the middle. He wasn't able to pick up the first down so for the first time today we're going to see NIU punt the ball with under a minute to go here. Not enough time to make a comeback here for Western Michigan but enough time for them to still make it a closer game as Davis back to throw. He's going to connect on first down. Blake Bosma with the reception there, bringing up a second and one, but they need bigger gains than just nine yards. Davis looking, he's going to chuck this down the left sideline, deep overthrows his receiver. He had Devon Mortimer wide open, beating his man in man coverage, but that would be incomplete as now Davis again taking a deep shot. This time it's completed, and Jamichael Bankston has been having himself a big fourth quarter here for the Broncos, getting them down to the 21-yard line of NIU. Going across the middle, it's Blake Bosma, the tight end, finds his way into the end zone for six. And this time, NIU thankfully comes out with the hands teams for the onside kick as they're going to recover it no problem. And the senior, Kenny Luth, would come out and take a knee for the Huskies as they are going to win this one. It looks a lot closer than it was. Some sloppy play down the fourth quarter, but NIU holds on for the 52-38 to win over the Broncos here at home. Thanks in part to a great game from senior quarterback Ethan Hampton throwing for five touchdowns today. In the ground game for the offense was just as dominant as they put up 248 yards. 98 of them coming from Jalen Poe today and 100 coming from Justin Lynch in his one big run play for a touchdown. As that win would get three-star gem quarterback Ben Merrill to commit to the Huskies. And while James Mix didn't commit after this game, we had a huge lead over Iowa in Illinois. We were slowly gaining on Randy Bobo, but it looked like we were 
probably going to lose out on him to Toledo. And with all the extra points we had, we would add two new recruits to our board in athlete Titus Gibbs and three-star quarterback Malik Cobb, who only had a scholarship offer from the Huskies. Hopefully, we could add those two recruits to an already good recruiting class that was currently ranked 24th in the country. And speaking of rankings, your Huskies would jump up from number 20 to number 17 after that win over Western Michigan. Despite the jump in rankings, we were still obviously projected as the 12th seed in the college football playoffs. But who knows, maybe if we win out, that might change, but we have to focus on the next game in front of us as next episode, we will be at home taking on the Bowling Green Falcons.